All right, Mother's Dwelling. This can be a rough map, but we have Demogorgon, so we're going to be all right. And we're doing a really fun build with Demogorgon today, and that is essentially a status ailment stacking build with Demogorgon. Our portals here, once they're activated, any survivor on them will trigger the blindness effect. We also get killer's detection because of uh, the lifeguard. And we have Mindbreaker to cause exhausted, Sloppy Butcher for hemorrhage, and of course Mangled. And Devour Hope, if we can get it running, for exposed. And overall, I'm pretty proud of it. Should be a, should be a lot of fun. Um, I'm, excited, I'm excited to see the survivors' answers after they play a round of it, though. See what they uh, they thought. Alright, he's dropping immediately. Should have. Alright, well, we got Sloppy. No dead heart, okay. I did not realize that there was even a pallet here, to be honest with you. We do have Ruin to give ourselves some slowdown that way we can keep up and chase. He got quite a bit of distance. Oh, and that over there is really going. Let's leave this and pressure over here instead. Hey, can you get off the gen, please? Thanks. Oh, yeah. This would be another hit. Sloppy Butcher on this person. Let's chase them down real quick. Ooh, they got that gen done quick over there. I guess they've been working on it for a bit, though. Nice. He's trying to get his ability up. You saw him walk for a second. That's because of Mind Breaker's exhaustive effect. Exhausted effect. All right. Let's go ahead and hook him up real quick. That way he can watch this generator kind of slowly deplete. Kind of, you know, just to bother him a little bit. We'll put a portal down and we'll start getting them all activated. So, plop this down here. And let's go over there. That makes sense. Hi. Thank you. I need her to move a little farther away here. Ooh, I tried. Someone's over here on my uh, generator. Hey, buddy. And since he probably tapped it, we should be in good luck here. I thought maybe I could snag it. Thank you. Leave him slug just for a second here. No, we're good. We're good. Let's get that stack of devour. They're not ready for it just yet. Do I have basement? I don't. Okay. But we have a hook right here, so we're good. Is he going to go stage two on his first hook? That's one thing we can keep in mind is that blindness, if they work on any of these gens here, the gens are going to go fast with a build like this because we don't have like something like corrupt and big maps. This is always going to happen. But that's all right. Someone was bleeding. Oh, did they run back this way? Okay. So he tapped the gen. He's in trouble. Oh, yeah. We definitely go for him here. Oh, I'm, I'm just charging in going a little too soon. He can't rely on any of his exhaustibles. So, yeah, he's definitely in trouble. That little tap he did on the uh, gen really hurt him. We'll look right here. This works. This also is going to give me uh, Devour Hope Tier 3 if we can get there. Or I should say give us our third stack. I saw Killer Instinct come off over here really quick. Let's see what's going on. There you are. Can I play around this? Hmm. Hi guys. Thank you. Both of them over here is really good. That is also our third stack. I wonder if they go and hop on that gen. I might be able to catch them off guard if they do. Again with the devour. Oh yeah, well we'll go for him, I guess. Oh, he just ran over that, which means he has blindness. He might have his exhaustible up, though. Okay. Oh, 
Oh man, they both hop. Look at them hop on that gen. Or they might be trying to get rid of it. Either way, that's fine. It wastes so much time. I think they're trying to get rid of it. Yeah, there it goes. But all three survivors are on it. That's just, it's good value for me. And with us having Devour now, they're in trouble. They were here and they all ran away. I'll go ahead and re-portal this. Wait, there you are. Hey, guess what? You are currently exposed for me. And here we go. The build fully works. I've now triggered every possible status effect I can with Demogorgon. Now we just gotta get to Mori somebody and we'll be really good. I also have a... Oh yeah. Oh, here she is. She's in trouble. Do we have anything? No. You don't have anything over here. You are... Yeah. There we go. Now, if they ran over this, they might not see where everyone's hooked up at just yet. We're just going to go ahead and hook them up. Not really worry so much about the uh, Mori. Just in case they decide to go and look for actual the totem itself. Okay. And there we go. Five stacks. Let's see if maybe we can catch him off over here. Oh, yeah. Someone's about to get ate up by the demo. All right. And he drops this. He knows he's dead if he gets caught. And here we go. And Demogorgon gets to eat well tonight. There goes Ruin, by the way. So we still have Devour up. So they are in very much trouble here. Hey, buddy. You're next. All right. Man, it's a good day. When Demogorgon gets to feast, it's a good day. All right, we see them right over there. They also now have blindness on them, so they can't read auras. So if they have something like Bond, for example, it won't work with them. Oh, I see them moving this way. Oh, there you are. There's two people over here, by the way. The other survivor ran off over here, I think. Ooh, I thought. Maybe not. Let's go ahead. Let's just eat the survivor, and then we will go from there. We'll give them a chance to get the hatch. It's really not a big deal. This game was a huge success. Oh, wait. Do I see her here? Oh, man. She is so unlucky. And... We get the legendary four Moris with Devour Hope. Oh, man. Well, you know, it's a little butchered there, but it worked. It happened. Had to censor it out for everybody. And, man, there we go. Such a fun build overall. Hit him with the GGs real quick. And let's break down today's status build for Demogorgon. Devour Hope, this way we can expo get the Exposed status effect. Sloppy Butcher for the Hemorrhage and the Mangled status effect. We have Ruin to give us a little bit of regression. And we have Mind Breaker, which gives us the Exhausted status effect when survivors work on gens. And then from here, survivors under the effect of a Portal will suffer from Blindness status effect. And last but not least, we have the Lifeguard Whistle, which allows us to get Killer Instinct from survivors who were on activated or near activated portals overall it's a really solid build really fun try it out in your games and let me know what you think all right much love and until next time i'm red and i'm signing off